Hello and welcome to this week's adventure of Churchville's Wild Kingdom. We're here with my lovely assistant Gracie. Say hi Gracie. Hi. Gracie. <laughs> and we're looking for the notorious spotted gecko. He's a nasty critter. He lives in trees. He eats bugs, moles, voles, and crickets. And we're searching the forest floor for any sign of the spotted gecko. We should hope to find some scat, and if not scat, maybe a cat or a bat. What do you think of that? Yes. Okay, back to the forest floor. And here we are, we're panning the forest floor, looking for any... Oh, look, what's that? Let's go, hurry, 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 hurry. We're running, we're running, we're running. And look, look, look. Have you spotted it, Gracie? Yes. There it is, in the tree, hiding in the shade, the spotted gecko. Oh, what a creature that is. I'm just going to reach up and attempt to pick him out of the tree. Here we go. Apparently, the spotted gecko attacks when surprised. Gracie, do you want to go pick him up? I think he's stunned at the moment. Carefully, ever so carefully, poke it with a stick. Okay. Are you a little scared? Nothing to be afraid of. He's completely catatonic. Ooh. Okay, grab him. Grab him. Grab him by the tail so he doesn't bite. There you go. The spotted gecko. What a creature. What a creature. A spotted gecko has a strong tail and four fingers and he can bite, which that's why I'm holding him by the tail and that's why he's spotted. So he is very strong and he doesn't even bother this because he's kind of falling asleep. So he is very strong. So if he bites, then he will do that. He'll fall back on the ground and climb up back into the tree. And now he's back awake. Should we put him back in the tree where we found him? Yes. Okay, here we go. Carefully, ever so carefully, back in the tree where we found him. And thank you for watching this week's